Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a color palette really fast in Figma. So in here in Figma I have my simple wireframe that I've designed and now I'm going to make a color palette for that wireframe or project. So I'm going to go to Coolers, I think is how you pronounce this. And I'm just going to get a nice color palette here. And I'm going to download this as an image and I'll just call it Color Palette 1 and I will export this and then I'm going to drag this image into Figma so I've got it right here and here's how you can make a color palette really quickly so I'm going to create a, another frame I'm just going to do a custom size frame here next to my wireframe I'm going to create some shapes so I'm going to create some circles and make these all the same size whatever the size is and then I'll just duplicate these and copy them over and I will put these in an auto layout and I think I need how many colors one two three four five so I've got five circles here okay so these are all the same size I just highlight them and hit shift a and there's an auto layout and I can pick the spacing between them I'm gonna do a hundred and oops then I'm going to assign these their color palette. So I'm going to go in here, go over to my, my image that I pulled. So I'm going to actually click on the little circle, go to the fill and click the eyedropper. And I can get this color palette right here. And I'm going to do the same thing for each circle. So you can see how in just a few minutes I've got a color palette. And then I can apply this to my design, my wireframe design, really quickly. So one more. And I could put in the hex code number if I wanted to over here on my color palette in Figma. Okay, so now I'm going to name these colors. So I'm just going to call this one light yellow. It might be a different color actually. These are called styles. So I'm creating color styles. I'm going to call this one light green. And you can name these whatever you want. I'll call this green. And then we have sort of a darker green. And then we've got a almost a black. Let's call this greenish black. Or maybe green black. Okay. So now I've got these styles saved. And over here on my wireframe, I can quickly update these to the style color I want and just get the branding looking really good really quickly. So let's see. See, I'm just putting these in. And then these are a component. So when I change this one button color here, let me change it to one of our our color palette colors, those other buttons automatically changed. So if I change this again to light yellow, they're going to automatically change as well. So really quickly I can change the button color that I want and if I want black or whatever I want then I can I can change that. So to that green black, sorry. So, so yeah that's one way to make a color palette really quick and if you're not sure which color palette you want then you just go back here and generate a new palette and I'm just hitting the space bar and let's say I want something along the lines of this palette here I'm going to do an image and I'll call it option 2 and again all I have to do is drag this over into Figma and I have some other options here so if I wanted to change these to a different color I'm just gonna unlink this maybe I want them to be this color instead or this blue or whatever it might be so I hope that helps with finding color palette options I'll put the link to this website in the the video description and then once you have your color palette then you can use it for your designs and just to give you another example of one that is complete if we were to look at this project here once you have it you can create something like this right you can create a 
a nice branded guide where you have the color palettes, the typography, and everything that you're going to need for your project and you can use that in your design. Uh, going back to this, it just allows you to get there really quickly if you have these here and use the eyedropper. So I hope you found that helpful and I will share more tips in the next video.